Hi everybody, thank you for checking out my first video on this channel, Lively Laughter. My name is Rebecca, I am 16 years old, I'm a junior in high school, and I'm homeschooled. Um, for my first video, I want to do an introductory video, and because it's a Tuesday, I thought we would start our Tuesday Tea Reviews. Um, every Tuesday, if I can, I want to review um, a new tea, and I've been studying a lot about that. <laughs> so. I hope you guys will continue to join me for that. Um, I created this channel because I'm really interested in learning a, more about tea. I fell in love with tea a, like about a year and a half ago, but I only ever drank chamomile tea and peppermint tea. And I just stayed with those because I wasn't that adventurous and it was just like the most common ones and I knew I liked those. So I drank chamomile a lot more than peppermint, but that doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, through this, I want to learn about the different kinds of teas. Um, I want to learn about the history of each tea because there's so many different teas out there. Um, I want to learn like the uses for tea. I mean, there are so many uses from taking your makeup off um, to getting rid of a headache to losing weight. Um, and I just want to meet other other tea lovers out there. I'm sure YouTube is full of other tea lovers um, who are full of different tips. Um, they have their favorite teas, where's the best place to buy them. So through this channel I really want to explore everything I can about tea. Um, right now I am drinking chamomile tea from Trader Joe's and part of the Tuesday Tea Review I thought that we would do that today. That's why it's in my Little cutie owly mug. I love owls. Like, I love them so much. Okay, so for our Tuesday tea um, review, I'm doing chamomile tea by Trader Joe's. It's an herbal tea. Um, there is no caffeine. And it says on the side of the box, it says, Herbal teas are based on an infusion of various herbs, flowers, and spices and offer the advantage of being caffeine-free. And there's a little bit more about Trader Joe's. Um, and it says this beverage is ideal by itself or with meals. Served hot over ice, it will quickly become a welcome addition to your daily menu. I usually have about three cups of chamomile tea a day. Um, mostly because that's the only tea that I really drink, but I have some tea ordered and I'm ready to get into this. But I have tea like with my breakfast when I'm going to bed. Um, I have it in the bathroom when I'm getting ready in the morning. Um, and on the, other, on the other side of the box, it has some information about chamomile tea. It says chamomile is a herb that is part of the esterchaea. Sorry, I don't know how to say that. Or a daisy family. Trader Joe's chamomile tea is made from the flowers of the chamomile plant. Chamomile is fast becoming a very popular uh, herbal tea. This soothing brew will calm you down after a long day. A good after dinner beverage. Treat yourself to the mild and floral flavor of Trader Joe's 100% chamomile tea today. And I like this uh, quote that it has by Henry Fielding. I don't know who that is. But it says tea, the, panace the panacea for everything from sorry, the panacea for everything from weariness to a cold to a murderer. Love and scandal are the best sweeteners of tea. And going off of Pride and Prejudice and Downton Abbey and even Sherlock Holmes, I mean, tea is amazing. So, you know, it comes like in a little rectangular box and it has this tab that you can tear off. Um, and when you tear it off, it just like sits on your counter like this and you can just walk by and pull out a little tab. Um, or packet. This is a bagged tea. Um, the packets look like this, which is very simple. Um, and as I was taking some notes, I gave this tea about three stars. Um, I've had multiple, uh, like, different kinds of chamomile tea, I mean, like, different brands. Um, and this brand is, I would say, about three stars. It's not my favorite. Um, when you first open the bag, 
the leaves are broken into very small pieces, almost a fine powder. Um, and when you're looking for a tea, you want it to be more like full leaves um, or not broken that much. Um, and when you look at these leaves, it did not have a glossy sheen, which is common for a more fresh tea. So it shows that it's like a little bit old, um, a little bit stale. So what I did is I put my tea bag in my cup and I um, let it brew for four minutes in boiling water. Um, the brewed tea had a, a deep orange yellow co coloring um, indicating a fuller flavor. If it's like murky or um, has sediment in it, then it shows a little it shows like more poor quality. This tea, um, this particular mug and previous mugs from this box, had a little bit of murkiness in it, but it wasn't like a big deal. Um, it had a nice, it had a nice body, nice color. Um, when you were smelt, when I smelt the leaves, it had it was like a earthy smell. It smelled like wet hay. Um, the flavor was a good combination of strength and color. It was a little bitter. Um, that's not usually how I like my chamomile tea, but I didn't put any sugar in it, so this is just the tea by itself. I'm sure if you put a little sugar in it, it would take that bitterness away. Um, but for those of you who don't, like, are trying not to have sugar, it is a little bitter. Um, the mouthfeel. Basically how it feels in your mouth. Um, when I was drinking it, it created a puckery sensation on my tongue and the back of my throat. Like, I drank it and it... It wasn't like sour, but it like made my tongue pucker up and like made my um, throat really dry. You know, when I'm having a tea, I like, it's like instead of water, you know, um, you drink it to relax or whatever your benefits are. But I like to feel like I don't want my mouth and my throat to be drier than when I first took a drink of my tea because that's kind of defeats part of the purpose of drinking tea. Um, I would say that the aftertaste is definitely identical to the tea itself. Um, I like the taste of tea as I'm drinking it, but that same flavor as an aftertaste just doesn't really do it for me. Um, it's a little unpleasant, but it does taste the same as the tea itself. So like I said, chamomile tea is one of my absolute favorite, uh, teas. I have out of the two teas that I've tried. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll never get tired of chamomile tea. But uh, this Trader Joe's chamomile tea is not my favorite. Um, so like I said, it was like, eh, gave it three stars. Um, and that is my Tuesday tea uh, review. So if you guys have any um, teas that you would like me to try and review, um, if you guys have any things that, like, please let me know in the comments, because um, I would love to try as many teas as possible. And as well, if there's any tips that you guys have for me with uh, steeping, where to buy it, um, just any tips that you have, the type of uh, cups and mugs, steepers, um, what's your favorite type of tea, um, if you have any questions about me, please let me know, because... Uh, soon I do want to do it in about me video um, where you guys ask me questions um, any questions that you like and I will be very happy to answer them so I would like to do one of those videos so if you comment below any questions that you have about me please let me know um, and one last thing I want to repeat this is that if you guys have any teas at all that you would like me to try please let me know um, I will try to do a tea review on them as soon as I can. I do have a list right now and I have a bunch of teas lined up and I'm really excited. So thank you again so much for stopping by um, Lively Laughter and I hope that you guys check back soon. Here is to the adventure of tea. The mug is really hot. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.